Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the stream. You're all having a fantastic Friday, or whatever it is for you right now, and we are back. And uh, I can really tell that fall is very, very fast approaching, because, like, it's just, it's just rapidly getting darker and darker as the hours go by. Like, um, it feels almost like two month, like only a month or two ago, walking in here at 8 o'clock p.m., there was so much light from outside. But now it's now it's extremely dim, so like yeah, we're almost there, almost at fall. And then spooky month. That'll be that'll be a good time. spooky month will be a good time. But yeah, so hope you all been having a good uh, good week. We're here to play some death and taxes. Yeah, uh, we did the, our first playthrough fully last week, and now we're on to the second playthrough where we're explicitly trying to not get the world ended by a zombie apocalypse. Um, and after we complete this one, I don't know if there are more to complete or not, so this ga game may or may not be shorter than... Like, we might be, we might finish with it today or tomorrow, or maybe there's a bunch more to do afterwards. Or maybe there's more replayability with, uh, even more stuff going on. We'll see when we get there. Spooky month is every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, there's not really a time when spook is not fun. But you know, October is when everybody is okay with it. Except for, like, weirdos. But all right, let's let's uh, try and get to the game here. Oh boy, it's gonna be funny because I like I had like a strategy formulated when we were playing it last week, and honestly, very good chance I'm gonna not remember what the fuck. Very cool. Is it playing? It is. Right, we're on. We're on a, we're on a new game plus on day two. Day eight. Excuse me. Our bearings again. I don't remember what was going on. I know on. what you're thinking. I do provide ancient, powerful witches. Okay, so you can buy multiples of the Obliviator. Here's a bow tie. Well, if we can, if we can meet quota while not destroying the world, like that's obviously what we're going to be trying to do. So let's uh, let's go. Take a look. God, there's so much shit in this desk. Okay. All right, let's uh, check this. Daily Moon, heartwarming, heartwarming. Local receptionist Mary's pawn shop owner. That's okay. That's cool. I don't know what I did to make that happen. But that's cool. Eagle Watch. Shark numbers interest increasing after the death of famous restaurant owner. Coincidence? Local wildlife reportedly happy this morning for some reason. <laughs> what? Cosmopolis suburbs announced record levels of clean air, recovering from decades of coal exploitation. Exploitation. Cool. Student protest gets out of hand. Severe property damage racking up. Polito politicians attempting to bill that bans small gatherings and protests. Ooh, that's that's bad. Pro news: a popular political commentator dies of a heart attack. And also pro news. Vampire hunting vigilante stabs midnight jogger in the chest with a stake. Oh god. Oh gee Christ. I vaguely remember that guy that we kept alive right there. Not for now. An odd hush ripples across the world. That is what happens. Someone is not paying attention to their restrictions. Keep this up and the world will be nothing but... Uh, but vacant ruins. Good for tourism, perhaps, but not much else. Quota, you three must die. Spare any humans with religious backgrounds. We'll see about that. If we can uh, do this... If I can meet Quota while not destroying the world, then I'm going to do that. So, I believe what happened in our first playthrough is that we just kind of followed orders and tried to make moral decisions, and that just leads to a zombie apocalypse. So we're not going to follow orders at all. Unless, uh, unless, like, we can get away with it without destroying the world. Anderson Weller, 46, economic consultant. Anderson has saved countless businesses from going completely bankrupt. If the only business they can't seem to save at all... 
them unfathomable reason is their spouse's DVD CD rental shop. The steers into failure all the time. I don't like that guy. Orissa, 55. Esoteric self help mentor. After years of struggling to pay their debts by selling nostalgia laden merchandise of vaguely self help nature, Orissa finally found a brand new avenue to helping people for money. Dyed rocks and magic infused minerals. Okay. Motivational speaker. Mercury Saint Yowns. I believe we saw this guy before. Nature was not stingy when it came to granting charisma to Mercury. Through Silver Tongue, the smooth talker could convince anyone to do almost anything. As such, they found their calling in being a motivational speaker. They've been proselytizing into their orders, okay? Bye, Car. Jesse is committed. Uh, so, Jesse Ford. Jesse is committed to the perfect sermon. You know, this oblivious to the turmoil at home. Their spouse is fighting a substance abuse problem, and their children are planning are planning debauched parties. Luckily, Jesse has found a new mom, a new, a new maid with, uh, I almost said mauled, like he's mauling, like he's already bald. <laughs> Jesse has found a new maid with unusual but effective methods for keeping things under control. Engineer, musician. Part-time scholar, part-time engineer, but part-time music likes building them. Oh yeah, that guy is gonna live. Bald and gay and nuclear. So three humans, but spare the religious backgrounds. Um, I. Okay, so that means I would have to kill this guy, and I'm not gonna do that. But I can kill three people, and I'm fine with it. So. Kill this man. Negative economy, oh whatever, fuck off. Kill this motherfucker. Uh less peace, more health. That's good. And we're gonna kill one of these two guys. Um Man. I'm not sure between these two dudes. I was standing for like 90 minutes, so I guess I can skip working out today, but I also feel like I shouldn't skip. Um, maybe just do a small activity that you think might equal the difference. You know what I mean? Because, like, I'm sure you know how much effort your own cycling is for you, so, like, just compare and contrast the effort in your head. Maybe you can make up the difference, but not go overboard. That's, that's just my thought. Maybe that's a bit complicated. We have to, we have to kill... and kill the nice guy. So we're, we have to kill either... Bicar here... Or, or Mercury's thing, Eons. I think I'm gonna kill Eons. Like, it's very hard because I don't know if this guy's maid is like a murderer or something. This guy, though, I don't trust because they become... No, what am I saying? He's a motivational speaker. I have to kill this guy. I don't like it, but uh, I gotta kill this guy. So, plus health minus peace. Oh, well. Live. What's him living do? Oh, God! It, it, it's only bad. Okay, well, I fucked up. Plus peace, plus environment, minus economy, minus health. Man, this is hard. This is hard to figure out. I really hope I don't fuck up and uh, get a zombie apocalypse again. It could be very annoying. Grim. Ah, yes, there you are. Good. Okay, now, listen up. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Reprimand me? Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately, and all that. Oh, ye oh, really? However, an emergency has occurred which requires my utmost attention, and I must depart for a couple of days. All right, I'll report to your cat again. Yes, you will be... Uh, how did you know I was going to say that? Never mind. Means you are thinking ahead and up to the task. Now, I must go. 
I am fully expecting that the plot twist of the of the first new game plus is that fate knows that you're from an that you have alternate dimension information, and then he fools us at the end somehow and gets us to create another apocalypse. Then we have to do new game, a second new game plus, but maybe not. Maybe the game doesn't have that much content to it. Meow meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Oh, I got 200. That's cool. I think I can get the bow tie, maybe. No way. 600. Okay. Next day. Friend, your visits like the sun. Regular. And warms the room. Uh, yeah, let's let's just get some like all the the stuff to buy left doesn't seem to only be either this or like more cosmetics. I'm just gonna get the cosmetics. Who cares? Hold on. Anpu, god of the dead, mummification, embalming, the afterlife, cemeteries, and the protector of the underworld. This hand really gets around. And Gretzky, a stunningly canine visage. So we, we look like a dog if we wear this. Okay. Ever been to the land of doom, he scouted? There be ancient civilizations under the sand sometimes. Once I dug out this particular golden icon. All while I was digging, the owls of the world eater rang in my ears. But I persisted. Dug until me fingers cracked. No stopping. Till the riches were secure. <clears throat> ah, tis truly a wondrous thing. Turns your own head into a jackal, it does. Yeah, I won't finish exercise tonight, but I'll do like half. If I mean, if it's if it, if it's less than half too, then like do do less than half as well. Oh, mirror. All alone, Reaper. Power at your fingertips. It's electrifying. On your own. You know why? Because they're setting you up. Who is? Fate! Everyone in the office. Haven't you seen them stare whenever you drift by? You don't have what it takes to succeed. You're a void. Lady, aren't you in on our plan? Like we were... Getting real sick of your attitude. Only got yourself to blame. It's never us. Something's not right. You can feel it in your bones. Be seeing you. Did me sparing that one guy like result in the zombie apocalypse ending to start up again? Also, let's look. Let's look at these uh, jackal heads. Whatever they are. Dog. 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 Fox. Goodest doggo. <laughs> Jackal. Stealth. I like doggy too. Do I want to be doggy? Let's, let's be consistent. We go to this one. <laughs> yeah, let's go to this one. Oh, plants! I have to uh, judge these plants. I wonder if they're the same plants as last time. That chef lab dog was so cute and I want one. I mean, I do like the idea of big dogs. The only question that happens is like, oh, can I can I like keep up with this with this creature? You know?
Tally is a pink rounded clump of branch tangled stems, each one up to about a mere meter long. Tally and their brothers and sisters have been growing after a wildfire cleaned up a large patch of land. No other plants could survive on the dry soil. Tally enjoys traveling and beautiful architecture. Yeah, I, I like the, yeah, like, um, St. Bernard's or Newfoundland's. Yeah. How does it travel? By growing very slowly. Elipicurus pretensis. Position, photosynthesis. It's a blade of grass. It grows lonesome on the side of a pavement at the Cosmopolis city center. It will likely, it will likely wilt if not tended to. Whoever would do that, however, remains a mystery. It's a miracle the blade of grass has even survived this long. Life uh, finds a way, I guess. Albuquerque's pre pretensis. Albuquerque's pretensis, also known as the meadow foxtail, is grass. I swear, if I have to make another file about a blade of grass, I will quit. Cannabis sat sativa. Position raw material. Cannabis sativa is an industrial hemp plant used for making clothes from its fiber. It is young yet growing rapidly due to amounts of fresh organic fertilizer being provided by its farmers. That's for hemp rope, not drugs. I have to kill three of these plants though. Part of me wants to just not kill any of them. Um, but. I don't know how much, how important a lot of these are. Do I just kill the grass? <laughs> this, see, here's the problem. This, this are very important to, like, the natural environment. This one is important to human environment. Oh, man. Maybe I just ignore. Maybe I just don't do it. Maybe I just don't kill them. Minus environment. Great. Okay. Living does literally nothing. That sucks. Honestly. Minus environment plus wealth? But why? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna disregard orders, let most of the plants live. What do you mean, minus? What? That's not how that works. That's not scientifically accurate. This is supposed to, this is a natural thing. What do you mean, minus environment? That's bullshit! Spirit Portal, join Mercury on the path of glory. Commune for those who seek the revelation. Throw news, abandoned mine shaft collapses, unidentified body found within the debris. The economical, a spree of bankruptcy strike the chocolate producing and trading industry. Trumpets of scarcity is now in effect. News. Local Vicar passes suddenly of heart failure in a religious convention. Help delayed as heart attack construed as a punchline. <laughs> Never report. Weather report. Windy and dry days ahead. Okay, well. Man, I'm gonna be so pissed if I really fuck this whole new game plus up again. Like, it's actually annoying if I fuck it up. And we're not gonna get paid today. Because we fucked up. Cat sits around the table, very serious and official, like ignoring your presence. Hoth, wake up, cat. I'm supposed to report to you. The cat throws you in a different look. She mutters, then places her paw upon some documents littering the table. After a few seconds, the cat lets out a slow, disappointed meow. Then proceeds to scratch the back of her head with her paw. We're not going to give her the, the gerbil this time. Uh, see you tomorrow, I guess.
The cat has already resumed ignoring your presence, she purrs softly. She declares as you make your way out of the door. Throw a cucumber at her. <laughs> what is with the... I for... There were, like, videos we saw of, like, cats that were afraid of cucumbers for some reason. It's so weird. Let's just go. What did you do? The plant department is complaining my ear off because an explosive mega growth there were that took place at the tropics. Our obligation is to bolster order, remember, even in nature. I don't think that's how this scientifically works. What if the day two humans have to die? Do not be careless again. I don't know why that is, because I've seen a lot of cats who don't care about the cucumber. I've also seen a lot of cats who love egg yolk, so I wonder. Well, egg yolk is, a, is animal protein, so I have no reason. So, like, it makes complete sense to me that cats would be fine eating eggs. It's animal protein. You know? So. I'm kind of pissed off at that last plant thing, because the problem is that... When a forest fire happens, nature reclaims the area by having a plants that are designed to grow over the remains of a forest fire. And that's the beginning stage of how a forest will eventually regrow where a forest fire has taken place. So when that thing was like, oh, this this vine is uh, populating this ground after the forest fire, I was like, oh, that's that's good. That's normal. That's how that's supposed to happen. But for some reason, this game is like, oh, no, there are, it's, it's taking over the tropics. It's like, what? That's not, that's not what's happening. That's not how that works. That's not scientifically accurate. the phone first. Pro news. New Jurassic exhibition opened in the Cosmopolis National uh, New trees planted in Cosmopolis City, local dog park. Uh, pro Tumbleweed killer. The Cali plant growth is, has been heavy, covering an entire building and preventing people from escaping from a fire. That is fucking nonsense. Oh my god, the plants are gonna murder everyone? That's bullshit. Local heavy industry grows by 23% this year. A good sign of things to come. e Look at this cute video of Angry Cat eating grass and meowing at the same time. Oh, 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 oh god. Moto okay? Okay? I want to see the cat video! Yeah, it'd be fun if they had a little cat video. In-depth overview, the merits of nuclear power. I swear to God, if this game does like an anti-nuclear power thing at any point, I'm gonna be so fucking angry. I hate that shit. Nuclear power is genuinely so fucking good. Oh, uh, okay. More tree is good. Jewel Grey, 35, biochemist. Also, if we, can we kill two humans to meet Quota? We'll see. Jewel Grey, 35, biochemist. Jewel was born in the countryside, but moved to the big city to go to the university. They like rock concerts and bars, although their visits have fallen due to having substance abuse issues in the past. They're trying to find a cure for chicken flu. Victor Yashin. On got that one line at the bottom. Right, like I couldn't remember. I can't. I, like, um, I've seen that kanji used before in a different context. Was it old? Is it is it the same kanji kanji that's in old key? It's hilarious that forest is just let's add more. <laughs> that's great. That's hilarious. Victor Yashin, 47, Safety Inspector. 
to graduate at the top of their class and made a fast climb to their career ladder, becoming the chief safety inspector of a local nuclear power plant. They have already spotted several mistakes, possibly preventing many accidents. Okay, we're not killing him. Roberta Williams, narrative designer. Roberta enjoys crafting stories that make people feel all kinds of different emotions. Their main interest is exploring uh, Thembo villain Thembo villain relationship dynamics. In their free time, they like to write mildly erotic fan fiction and argue with nerds on Cocker. <laughs> Yataru Sua. 46 swimming coach. Yataru is a former world champion swimmer who now coaches aspiring new swimmers. Although they hoped their teenage offspring would take more interest in swimming, the youth is lately increasing is increasingly interested in theater production. Okay, so this man lives, period. Yeah, this is only good things happening when we uh, let him live. This guy also looks very important. Oh god, minus environment, minus economy, plus health. That sucks, but, uh... Minus economy. Sorry, bro. Minus health. Ugh. Well, I have to meet quota occasionally, or else I'll get in trouble. Oh, I see. Orki is, uh... It is confusing at times. I feel like it's not impossible to really get a handle of. It's just... It's just so much information, you know? <laughs> Psst. Hey, we don't like what we see. It's suspicious. What is it? All of it. The profiles, the tasks, the chats. Too clean. Christine. What a wreck. Listen to us, Reaper. Not the others. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me! Shh. They're probably eavesdropping right now. What the fuck yes, is going on with this weird voice in my head? As you enter, the cat paces around the table as if annoyed and irritated. Yeah, the cat notes while casually twirling around her spot, pawing at the table. I'm still not sure if this is a valuable use of my time. The cat gazes straight through you as if you weren't even there. She's staring at the door. Look makes it clear you should be leaving right about now. Here got fucking schizophrenic. What the fuck? Yeah, a little bit. Anything I can buy with only uh, ah, 400? Perhaps he requires a delightful gift for a significant friend. I mean, I'd like to give a gift to a uh, goblin lady. But, uh... I have a feeling you cannot romance any of the characters in this game. Stupid fucking cat. Yeah. Hi, your hands will be kept mighty busy today. What the darn have you been up to over at the office? From what I can see, the data, it looks like a proper mess. Uh, seven humans have to die? No. Uh, I'm not doing that. Michael Batar. Oh, uh, first of all, let's go over here. A biochemist almost dies in a fire at work. They were able to get out by following a fleeing cat. Are we saved? Young biochemist finds a vaccine for chicken flu. Oh. Chicken flu vaccine shots now free thanks to a donation from a local business. Death of swim coach, another blow against the dynamically mobile lifestyle. People becoming increasingly inactive. Tech pros, AI breakthrough imminent. Promises, promises founder of Trans Global Inc. Incorporated. Oh no. Michael has been a dedicated worker at this. Okay, Grib, yes, listen up. 
Why are you such a tool, sitting at your desk going all over the profiles like a mindless drone? It's time to break the rules. I want you to do all profiles today. All of them. Prove you're not completely useless. Uh, no. Fuck you. Nope. Oh. Well. That sucks. Okay, who is this? Aishwarya Sinclair, social worker, has been working as a local refugee community, helping them get settled and figure out the particulars of the bureaucracy of Cosmopolis. The free time enjoy lengthy swims and underwrite a series of thoughts about the labyrinthian nature of bureaucracy. I'm not I'm gonna kill as few people as possible here. Sarah Yorin Gray, 31, cultist! There is the leader of the Sun Cult. They're also the treasurer and the editor of the newsletter. They're also the only member of the Sun Cult thus far. Most of what they do is praising the Sun whenever possible. Okay, never mind. I don't mind this person. They're just uh, a meme. The cat is so cool. Why not just make her work in this office? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Graham Hawlett, sect member. Praise the revelation, cries Graham. The often so-called right-hand person of Mercury St. Eons at the Path of Glory. Little as though they're past, only that they joined the commune at the very beginning. It seemed organizational. Fair any retired people if possible. Uh, yeah, I think I might kill some of these people. Not all of them, though. Hector Hernandez. Before retired for nearly 50 years, produced... Hector produced and hosted a series of fun and educational television shows that revolved around being nice to people and making the world a better place. They won numerous awards and honors. There are many good deeds. We're gonna not kill you. In fact, I'm just gonna immediately... Yep, that was all good. Very good. Toro Owole. Olowe. 19, pro gamer. Toto started out playing competitive games they loved, believing in themselves when no one else did. They kept getting better, but life kept getting more difficult. Toto had a really good shot at making it until they until they got involved in an eSport doping scandal. Hey, you know what? All I did this morning was stand there with a flyer, but I got a few people to vote independent. That's excellent. That is excellent. You know, it, it, it made a difference. David Gardner, 34, IT architect, AI researcher. David is the founder of Transglobal Inc., a company that produces high-tech gadgets like smartwatches and digital home assistants. For the past five years, David has been the foremost proponent of algorithms and artificial intelligence research. So he's like Elon Musk parody, okay. Balthazar Bowers, ex-child actor. As a child, Balthazar starred in a series of somewhat popular, if critically lambasted, films. Mockery and the subsequent demand to prove themselves drew drew into their psyche. They soon spiraled into alcoholism and drug abuse. Until they met Mercury, who invited them to join on the downtrodden of the Path of Glory commune. I don't like this uh, cult. That was only bad. Okay, well. Wait! It's telling me in advance! Okay, hold on. Live? Oh, it's still bad. Live or die, it's bad either way. What do you mean, minus health? What the fuck? Fuck you. I don't know what the prerequisites are that makes it reveal more information to me. So, she is the only member of the Sun Cult, so it's just her being a weirdo, so... No reason for her to not live. Social worker, why would we kill this person? Yep, it was only good for us to do that. Very good. I, kill, I killed a few people. I mostly... I killed one person, excuse me. So, I'm not getting paid. Look at the march of death. Bones of the living ground into dust. A dust storm that suffocates and I just breath. spared seven people. 
Uh, sure. Gaze upon what you have brought, instrument of pain. Don't you think this whole business is remarkably dehumanizing? I fucking saved An people. Uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy, picking and choosing lives. I don't care as long as it gets the job done. This place is awfully callous. I don't want to say any of these, gotta be honest. Fishing, I'll give it that. What makes you think you're. know that they are getting it right? Throwing out innumerable rules and <clears throat> quotas with Excuse no me. oversight whatsoever. Throwing out innumerable rules and quotas with no oversight. Think I should do something? We should. should I've we? been doing something! Let us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. See you. If you do another run, please do and ignore and mirror entirely run. Cat is not happy. As you enter, you see the cat supi supine, wa waving her paws in the air as if trying to bat something invisible. All of a sudden, she turns her attention to you, a devious glimmer in her eyes. The cat continues to stare, her tail whipping back and forth in a manner that feels disappointed. I was right to avoid most of those deaths. Lady Pottingdon sits in complete silence, an accusatory look adorning her face. What, you think I caused that mess somehow? The cat ca I actually did because I let that cult, that cult member Saint Eowns live. I should have killed him, is what I should have done. The cat continues her silence. Whatever, cat, I'm leaving. The cat blinks as Lily turns away, signaling her complete indifference to you. Get the spray bottle, Grim. <laughs> Ahoy, matey! What can old Mortimer offer you today? Nothing. I don't have enough money. The world is a wondrous thing. Oh, what I've seen out here. Now do try to bounce out the turmoil of yesterday. Success can be forged with but a hand of of a uh, with a handful of debts. Yes. So three humans die. Spare humans with a law. An unforeseen logic guides our hand, but a logic nonetheless. No, fuck you. You're trying to kill everyone. Three humans die, spare humans with law background. x child actor found dead at the Path of Glory commune after police raid. Drug overdose. Second in command, still at large after police raid. The Path of Glory compound. Path of Horror! Rumors of abuse, extortion, and kidnapping have been going on for years, some sources report. Sun seems awfully pleased with all the, with all the praise it's getting as of late. <laughs> Peace on the rise, adversarial nations Altern and Wasagra Wazkagrad entered diplomatic negotiations inspired by Mr. Hernandez community. Cool! Tomorrow science. Researchers find numerous backdoors in transglobal link products, granting access to any number of unknown parties. Tofu no sekai moment. Reports just coming in, it seems the hostage situation may be taking place at the courthouse. Jesus Christ almighty, okay, well. So, three and spare law backgrounds? Well, let's see if these people are worth killing. Gordon Onogoye, Onogoye, pharmacist. Gordon got through medical college mostly by cheating. Jonas Riesling, judge. Jonas leads an enviable life of moral integrity. They have it figured out. In their prime, they enjoy the fruits of their well-established position. 
By not engaged in upholding the law, they dabble in a vineyard which started as an elaborate joke related to their name. Well, save you for later. Mary Emily Lang, architect. Mary is all, or Marie, is all about living in the present, their past long forgotten. Several years ago, they moved to live near the glacier at Northern Point. Marie has always loved mountaineering, photography, sculpturing, and modern dance. Okay. Bartomwe Sotomayor, Guru. Bartomwe's experience is experienced a spiritual awakening after eating moldy cheese with questionable origin while on vacation. Now they spend their time spending their newfound wisdom, spreading their newfound wisdom to anyone willing to listen, okay? How goes it, friends? It's pretty okay, I'd say. We're trying to get a different ending this time. Anson Sid, 22, Sinner. Anson loves to sin and is committed to performing all four daily sins. They live in a cave outside the city. So we've almost filled the quota. Another judge, Anna von Lufenstein. Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves their job very much. Not so much because of the, br the bringing of justice, but because of the political power the position brings. And Anna likes having power and influence a little bit too much. So we were told to kill three people but spare some judges. Um, I'm not going to spare this judge. This is a, not a good... More peace, okay. Everyone else can live. Benefactor, increase a single world parameter value by at least two. Hmm. I don't know why this guy continuing uh, makes problems for the world. Only uppies. Oh, wait, if he dies. Let's try and make him live. Ah! Man, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up so much. Oops. Whatever. I should have killed him, but then I would have killed too many people. And that would be annoying. I, don't, I want money occasionally. Cat seems to be in slumber, occasionally emitting a soft snore-like purr. Wake up, cat. I don't have all day to waste. Sluggishly, and with disdain for your discourtesy, the cat sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. The cat continuously inspects the documents for a few seconds, then turns away, seeming pleased. Hey, can I ask you some questions instead? The cat stares at you, slowly blanking. What do you think of fate? Melodiously. What do you think of death? The department will be going now. The cat curls back to the ball? Yep. Hey, I have money now. That's a fucking money! Go. Get the bow tie. Suit would make me look sharp and professional while the bow tie adds subtle flavor of levity. Fit for the funeral of clowns? Oh. Um. Don't tell your captain about this. Tis one of theirs. Stole a great deal of time ago, though. <laughs> Like tis between two months at least. I remember it was like yesterday. Barely made it out of the wardrobe alive. <laughs> Have you seen how far it goes? Many skeletons are in there. Almost became one of them. But you can't trap old Mortimer that easy. What the fuck? And ironically, I want to check, take a look. Here's this bow tie. Here's the bow tie. Hello, Joe. Death and Tuxedo. Bow ties are cool. Archangel. Hardcore. 
old timer, hot dog, pot, pineapple, manny, king of Halloween. I like manny. Pineapple's gonna be a banned veggie. Do it. Do it. Read this. Where? Hold on a moment. Where? Um. Lucky day, or is it? Ah, the unjustly demigrated unlucky number 13. I fail to see the relevance of this kind of neurology. It is but a day, like all the other days. Quota for the day, a total of three humans, but sci humans. In the field of uh, religion, have to die. Spare any human. With an artistic background. So... Uh, the cat stole everything. Okay, so the cat stole our, uh, our stuff. I forgore. It happens. Don't worry about it. Okay, so the cat stole our documents. Literally nothing. Cat lounges on the table, brushing her ear with her paw. What the hell, cat? The cat pauses for a moment, continues brushing herself. I know you stole my files, you jerk. Before the cat has a chance to respond, the phone rings in an ear piercing metallic chat clatter. You hear a familiar voice. Grim, are you there? Been lying in bed for two hours, can't sleep. Oh, that sucks, dude. Ah. Uh. Cat meows. Oh, grim, grim. Alas, I am disappointed. I had hoped to avoid having this discussion again. The cat stole them! Must I really reiterate myself? You cannot allow all to live. I hope you will realize the implications for the world and for yourself. Nothing happened to the files. They were gone. Hello, Grim. You are silent. You have nothing to say. Well, I hope that is because you are rethinking the path you have chosen. Either way, this will be marked down as your second warning. There will not be many more. Real nice, cat. Alas, the cat has already fallen asleep. She purrs softly contented, nothing else to do but leave. Let's uh, go here. Let's see. We have these guys again. to live and doesn't. I have the foresight. <laughs> I carefully compare all data with the requirements. I got a lamp that reveals relevant details. Your God damn it! Diligence are noteworthy. Must take you a long time. I did not mean to pick that one. Must you take a long time, though? Yeah, unless he's 
mistakes are made somewhere else. Hmm. Never mind me. I simply ain't one to trust the chain when I can see the other one. Okay, then another question I've been pondering about the process. Do you think about the people after you've made the decision? Or do you forget all about them after it's done? Yeah, I can't stop thinking about the consequence. I'm even imagining it. It's like, there's so much on the line. So much of everything. All of it makes me anxious as heck. I ain't even the one choosing. Gazing upon the decision tree. Branches out across infinity. Across space and time. Anyway, this has been enlightening. Thanks for the answers. Anything I can get you? What's the deal with Lady Poddington? Bates cat. She's an adorable furball, ain't she? Always scooping around in search of mischief. She sneaks down here, too. So I feed her a few morsels. I don't trust that cat. How could you not? Those big eyes, that fluffy fur. She's a real softy. It's nice she keeps Fate company. Fate's archaic. All those aeons might not be good for the, you know, mentality. What else you got in mind? I, uh, keep hearing voices. That's so. Uh, well, most of us hear voices a lot of the time. No, no, no. There's a voice in the mirror. Ah. Wait, so you got a mirror that reflects back your own voice? No, it's some other voice. Okay. It's fine to talk to yourself. I'm sure it's rough at the office. No! Gotta help process Goblin the tomboy lady, stop! Or maybe it's your conscience trying to kick through the barrier. Becoming a reaper ain't easy, so if you haven't fully internalized the struggle, you're not happy with your work, or you sense something's off. But what do I know? I'm just a barkeep, so that makes me only half a therapist. Someone contacted me using the profile. Oh? What did this mysterious entity want? Asked me to mark everyone to death for one. And do you follow him? Or what? No, I'm more of a rebel. I don't follow orders. Yes, not courageous enough to fully push against the system. Stop, ah, fuck you! <sighs> Elsewise, truth be told, I'm of little help. I don't know what goes around in the office. I just own the den. What else you got in mind? Sure, what's your poison? Oops, I'm totally broke, never mind. What else you got in mind? Au revoir, little reaper. There's a popular band called Red Apple over here. Cool. I don't care about talking to these bozos again. Fucking cat stole my fucking papers. Instructions. I expect you in my office for your performance review after you are done today. Do not worry about the about that right now. Focus on the task at hand. Quota six die. Anyone related to transportation has to die. Choose humans on the left side of the pool. Oh no, fuck. I hate this requirement. Also, oh, you know what? I'm gonna lean forward. Hold on, everyone. Choose people on the left side of the profile bundle. So, but that. I'm gonna ignore quite a lot of this. I'm not gonna ignore all of it. I will try to see if I can kill six, but. I'm gonna otherwise ignore the left side thing and the transportation thing. Miguel Salk. Theoretical. Theoretical beekeeper, race car driver, Miguel has always dreamt of becoming a beekeeper, but for some reason, perhaps due to a fear of sharp objects, has never pursued their true passion. This in turn has led them to become a very successful race car driver, an occupation they unfortunately hate. They'd rather just live quietly with their bee. Well, we don't want to... I don't know about killing this person. 
Will superstar racer Miguel Salk bring home another trophy for Cosmopolis City? Will the police finally do something about this highway menace? Ike Thulani, ambulance driver. Ike is certain that speed is the most important thing about an ambulance driver. Relentless speed, immaculate handling. At work, they braid their hair into a rat tail and have earned the right to wear a custom-made bright orange jumpsuit. Come on, don't fucking tell me this guy is gonna, like, cause car accidents with a fucking ambulance. Sally Nyar, uh, Nygaard, teacher. Sally teaches sex education in many different schools, being helping adolescents navigate the twists and turns of physical and emotional evolution. They're a fan of ice skating, pottery, and very technical metal music, often traveling to concerts and festivals. Well, that person's a nice, a good-sounding person. Goblin L, Goblin Brain L, yeah. Christopher Pitt, dancer. Although Christopher is an amazingly graceful ballet dancer, they have secretly orchestrated orchestrated snapped tendons and cracked ankles for their rival. This ensured they would get ahead in the game. They were brand banished from home when they were 16 because their parents were scared and confused about Christopher's sexual orientation. I don't care about your sexual orientation. Uh, you, ju you fucking cheated in your profession. Better help, less peace? Yeah, don't care. Get out of my sight, you're a fucking cheater. Also, you cheated by injuring people. Like, that's fucked up, so. I don't care, I don't care what your sexual orientation is. Alessia de Tureville, driver. Alessia is an absolute speed demon. They cruise at utterly ridiculous speeds all around Cosmopolis City, delivering miscellaneous packages to various people and companies. With their stoic demeanor and calm nerves, they could be an excellent rally driver. I feel like there's an emphasis on vehicles right now and that people are going to get run over if I don't kill enough people. Anya Karpova, data scientist. Anyone related to the transportation industry has to die. I really don't want to do that. Then again, maybe I will kill some of the some of them if I feel like they're gonna kill people themselves. Who needs statistics when you have fancy algorithms and amazing concepts like AI and machine learning? Not Anya Karpova, that's for sure. They just put the data in regardless of the results, as absolute truth requires no critique. The almighty machine knows all. It is only good for you to perish. So you, that perish you will. Lisa Markovic. Housekeeper, 47. Lisa loves to engage in gossip. They have a binder full of information about the people living in the house they work at and, and a separate binder for all the people who visit. Most of the information is sensitive and used to blackmail wealth, the wealthy, and they do it all for their children. So I was thinking at first I was going to kill this person, but I'm thinking, I'm starting to think that they're base. Heal from the rich. I kind of, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of not necessarily uh, against that right there. The Unhoto was, I have no, I don't know how to pronounce this. Sizik? Sizik? Hodo? Hello, Sizik? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Cobbler. Leon can't even count the number of shoes they've made. They dream of making shoes that gives people an understanding of how it feels to be in other people's shoes, because actually wearing other people's shoes doesn't really give any particular insights. Daya Sastri. Painter. Daya paints nudes and nudes only. For these paintings... For some reason, these paintings don't sell very well, and they have been playing around with the idea of pivoting into a life of sin after being inspired by the heroic death of a prominent sinner. Less economy? I don't give a shit. Fuck, fuck the economy. We need to kill six. Or at least that's the quota for today. Can't pronounce that, you just say, Iggly Bagel Face! <laughs> oh god, or Eggs Benedict. One of the two. So, we can potentially choose three more people to die here. I would like to fill the quota. I 
no info. I could just kill these three people in the transportation industry, and I would fill the quota. The problem is that one of them is an ambulance driver, and I think that it's good for an ambulance driver to live, but I don't really want to kill the cobbler or the housekeeper. What's the deal with the nude artist people? <laughs> Bro, I don't know. fuck do I kill? I really don't... I, I don't want to get in trouble is the problem. Like, I was told that I won't get many more warnings. So I, want, I do want to fill the quota here. This lady is good. Like, this lady is good. This lady is righteous, I think. And this guy is just making shoes. You know? Like, I don't know. Maybe I do kill the cobbler and let the ambulance driver live? I feel like this guy is in a position where being very fast is actually... It's actually good to keep this guy alive. Which sucks. Do I kill the sex education lady or the cobbler? I feel like this lady is, like, important. Like, very important. Especially since we, in some of our previous runs, we had it so that uh, there were, like, um, like, there were people who were dying who did who were inspiring the children before, and we don't really want necessarily more children inspiring people to perish. Like, I don't want to kill these either, other than the fact... You know, this person, I'm fine. Okay, yeah, that was good. That was a good death. Uh, I'm just gonna get this over with, so that I don't, um... Plus health, minus wealth, minus P. I don't care about minus P very much. I am trying to avoid the zombie apocalypse. I'm probably going to cause another apocalypse, though. Two more have to die. My goodness. I really don't want to kill the ambulance driver. Do I, do I kill the cobbler? I really don't want to. I don't want to kill sex education, lady. I think this is important. Minus environment? Plus peace? Okay, whatever. Avoiding the zombie apocalypse just to cause an environmental apocalypse. Let's go. <laughs> oh. oh, I have to pick two people from among these three. And I really don't want to kill this guy. Let's... Okay, I'm going to keep the ambulance driver alive. Sorry, man. Plus environment, plus health. Oh, I don't, I don't feel good about this. Minus economy, plus health again. This person will live. Plus health. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I needed to fucking, like, not kill the ambulance driver. That's still six humans, so I still get paid a bit. Or I, I get paid partial, at least. The only thing Oink is killing is the economy! <laughs> what did I tell you? Told me what? The others. Conspiring behind your back. You saw the result. Uh, I think it was the cat? They waited for you to let the guard down. Whispering, Look, it's the pathetic run. I don't know. I think the mirror lady might be onto something. What do you know? Tell me! They'll make you fail. 
and get you fired. Or are you deliberately trying to fail? That's devious. Keep them guessing and watch your back. I think the mirror lady is on to something. It's just I don't I wish you would just tell me exact exact scene. No? I have returned. Did you miss me? Sure, I like our little chance. Great. I'm glad you enjoy our frequent discourse. So I'm gonna stop okay. you from killing everyone. Yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. Hmm. Where did I place those? Where are you? Ah, here we go. Right. Seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Hmm. I see. Wait patiently. Ah, uh, Grim. How should I put it? Hey, how you doing, title frame? Well, your situation is adequate. Adequate. Fuck Admitted. you, your cat! I expected better of you. Cat stole my fucking papers! Piece of shit, cat. I I live with five cats, and none of them are, are none of them are that fucking deviant. You follow orders well, most of the time. Your contribution is up to par, but you lack that inner spark. That even me. Thinking outside the box, seeking the convergence of holistic solutions. Fuck you, that's what I've been doing. You're the one who's trying to kill everyone with an apocalypse. Highest management expects a level of proactivity in order to secure any innovative paradigm shift. Overall, you are deemed mediocre. However, we still see some progress. As such, you are to be granted a small bonus. An incentive, yes? I hope this inspires you to improve your performance levels for the ultimate evaluation in just another two weeks. Fuck you! Oh wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, let's go see if Grim. If, wait, wait. Not Grim. Back from our booty, are you? <laughs> Mortimer. Wow. Face of the great old one. Clothing. Whoa, a seriously terror-inducing visage. But then again, who wouldn't want to look like an anti in monstrosity? Besides, tentacles are extremely useful and practical. By Jones Copper, the slimy appendage is still here. I shudder at that very memory. Did not know which way was up, which way was down. Where to step forward? The walls. They were everywhere. I grabbed what I could and ran. Ran as fast as me feet could go. As I emerged from the darkness, I found myself standing in the middle of a carnival. Truly a nightmare. I'm sure that's a uh, reference to some sort of a crap novel, but... Anything more to say to me? Hey, hey, Grimmy. Pleased to see you again. Not much else happening on this quiet Sunday, though, so we appreciate you dropping in. What's on your mind? Sure. What's your poison? I'm what broke. else you got in mind? Oh, oh, uh, I thought she had more... Reaper. I thought she might have more dialogue for me. But she did not. Let's look at the tentacles. Where, do we, where will we find the tentacles? Gold key. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That's nice. I like that. Uh, let's uh, continue as a uh, winter vegetable, though. Now it's Monday. Congratulations, Grim. You passed the performance review as expected, but let us not dwell on the past. I need you to focus on the. This will be a tough day. Be attentive. Vote of the day. Total of six humans must die. At least humans with a scientific background have to die. At least two humans. 
aged 60 or younger have to die. I'll consider some of these. Three and three up and coming athletes under trial for manslaughter for, of two rivals. Economista, how did how did offshore bank accounts actually work, and how do the extremely wealthy avoid paying taxes? Daily Moon, fear warranted. Superstar racer Miguel Salk dies from hundreds of bee stings. That's fucking crazy, but okay. Government attempts to pass law that punishes bees for being murderers. <laughs> stupid is because bees kill themselves when they fucking sting you. So, like, they already die. There's no point in trying them for being murdered. Teledata. Cosmopolis Media aiming to develop a new sex show to boost healthcare for all across the nation. Okay. The air devil delivery driver crushed by falling debris when sudden earthquake strikes Cosmopolis. New program of ex-rally drivers trained for driving ambulances proves to be a huge success. Oh, that's awesome. Microscale steam, steam mechanics could unlock access to a brand new dimension and possibly destroy the world. Okay. So, six... They want six humans to be dead. Three with a scientific background, aged 60 or younger. Not gonna lie, I'm probably not going to kill a lot of people. Well, I'll see you in a moment. Hayden B. Blackburn, field researcher geology. Hayden is a geologist who is adamant in their leap that micro scale steam mechanics are totally doable. They deem. They dream of creating a micro scale model steam train by using this soon to be available technology. Beard. Don Fierro. Fierro. 46. Monster. Don Fierro tries to model himself after the old Monopoly novels without realizing. Yeah, uh, you're an evil kill. Isha Basra, geneticist. Secretly researching the genetic genetical combining of plants and animals. In addition to mammals capable of photosynthesis, sunflowers with ears. They also dream of a pet hedgehog with an actual hedge instead of spines. So far, the research has been costed, but they believe it's for the greater good. Their colleagues are on high alert. Here another easy kill, I believe. Yeah. I was what? I was Chinese. But now I am Japanese. Mint. 20. Gang member. Mint comes from an abusive family, which ultimately made them very protective of their older sister. Mint would do anything to keep them safe. As such, they have allied with the toughest crime boss in the district, one who takes good care of their own. guys did that emote back to back and I went to my OBS to make sure that I wasn't muted like you were like you were using that emote to signal something <laughs> I just I was like hmm like, uh, maybe you should make sure I'm not uh, having a uh, you know I once was Chinese I don't know if I want to kill this person Right next to the ones we haven't decided on yet. Rector Vinogradov. Rector Vinogradov. Gun runner. Rector was inspired to enter the arms trade when they saw a mobster kill a would-be assassin with an automatic weapon. If compared the consult the constant need for weapons to the need the human need for food, these they started to waver in their beliefs after they witnessed firsthand the destruction of their mer their merchandise bring. 
Wait, so is this like an Iron Man reference? We should spam fatigue if you need it. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? I'll try I'll try to put that into my head. That <laughs> if you're gonna spam fatigue, it's because I am I am muted. <laughs> oh, fatigue dog. Oh. Glory Magnussen Halber, historian. When still in their early 20s, Glory harbored some edgy and extreme views on society, the world in general, up until the point that they grew up and calmed down, readjusting their innate interest on societal issues to gain greater knowledge of history and the myriad of structures that affect our lives. We hear you. This is the hearing you alarm. Oh god. Antonini Gramili. Game dev. Antonioni is known for making experimental games and genre bending art pieces. Lately they've been exper they've experimented with pain based control schemes, facial feature based difficulty levels, psychedelic imagery, and incredibly addicting game mechanics. They're one small nudge away from making it big. <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling this is gonna have a bad effect on the world, but I might not kill him. BC Reed, 31, anthropologist. BC is famous for their photographs of island communities. Some of their works include Kinu, how many colors can a skirt have? New Old Land, is that really. <laughs> new Old Land, is it really that new? Colonel Gaskar. A gateway to overeating. They spent free time in their garden positioning knee-high indigenous stone statues in herb patches. What? <laughs> okay. I don't want to kill Mint, but I feel like I need to if I want to get anywhere near Oda. Because I really I like I like Mint as like a protagonist type character, but like this is this is like me trying to decide who dies and this person joined a gang. I don't want to do it. Oh man. It feels bad. Fortunately. Kill three more people among the or attempt to consider it. Gunrunner. Here's the thing, this guy is like a Tony Stark reference, I believe. And he said recently they've started to waver in their belief. Which implies to me that if this person dies, the arms trade might go might spiral out of control because maybe this guy needs to live in order for it to not spiral out of control. This guy might be harming the health of the nation, so okay, never mind. For some reason, that was minus health to kill that guy, but okay. I don't- I feel- oh man, this is weird. I don't want to have the weapons guy be the only one that lives, but... Oh man. I feel- I'm taking a big risk here by assuming that I need this guy to stop the weapons trade from filing out of control, so I guess I'm just gonna bite the bullet. Plus economy, plus peace, minus environment. That's acceptable, I guess. Fortunately, these two have to die. Okay, we have plus environment. Oh! Plus, plus environment, plus health. Okay, so that guy was a problem. Problem I was unaware of. Alright. So I met Quota, I didn't do all the instructions. Yes. You did it, Reaper. You have achieved. Your grandeur grows with every passing moment. I'll soon am fatigued when I'm but tired. Mere moats beside <laughs> your blazing glory. What are you rambling about now? Nothing. 
I wouldn't dare say a thing. Your Majesty. Fuck you! Carry forth your deed of darkness, Creeper. But stop before it's too late. I can't get any more warnings! Already getting a bit late as we speak. The dust moves. What does tub spam? What does spamming tub mean? It means that it means tub tub. It means happy. The best. It means bab. Ah, there you are. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Yup, nub. Oh man, yeah, the old, the original Ewok sound. Gone. Yup, nub. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I'm glad they rep- I'm, I don't mind that George replaced that fucking song at the end of Return of the Jedi. I really don't mind. I think the new one is better. Quote unquote new one. It's still decades old. Rough. Things got really bad. The world certainly has that tendency. No, 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 no. I mean your cat is what ruined things. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. Papers. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well. What must be done? Speaking of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? All according to my plan. Your plan to do what? Trick the system? <laughs> Silly grip. I didn't say I was tricking. This reminds me. Have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a personable dialogue. I'm still a bit unclear on the origin of. What do you mean? Do you pick what's supposed to happen and thus make it happen? Am I the one who actually picks and makes things happen? Oh, nothing of the sort. The world. And the people therein, our data mongers assemble. We do not directly cause deaths, although our choices can modify the structure slightly. How can that be if I mark profiles on these back other people? Hmm, in a sense. But this is, you should consider. Mm hmm. Anything else? Until tomorrow, Grim. We already had that conversation first first run, but I just didn't bother. Yeah, I, I only got a partial credit. 200. Shiver me timbers. Ye sure can't get enough for the Emporium. How much is this? 700? Okay, it's gonna be a while before we can get that. Open me. All right. Look here, Grim. How about we try some new methods of maintaining e I have a great faith in these techniques of mere techniques of a mere structural nature. A total of two humans have to die. The humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle have to die. Yes, this may be the that feels so random. So supposedly we need to kill exactly these people. So let's look at their profiles. Li Yong, 51, housekeeper. Li is a beloved is a beloved housekeeper for a traditional household. After the last owner perished, they just stayed put, and the next family accepted them with open arms. He is also secretly housing their asocial spouse in a secret room in the attic. They're deathly allergic to- <gasps> Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Evelyn D. Space. 31. Submarine Commander. In their youth, Evelyn read the works of Anvar Jules, author of many fantastical adventure novels. Fired by the novel The Teenage Commander, they decide to become one, a commander that is, themselves, and drive thousands of leagues under the sea. And they did! The news, before we read the other two. Pro news. Odd scientist blows up along with their workshed while experimenting with micro scale steam mechanics. 
Welcome to our history, a news on the structures behind the shifts and changes of society. Crime boss gunned down on the street by rival mobster. Escalate turf war. Local thugs stabbed by a gang related incident. Thumbs finally at rest after gang conflict ends through assassination of crime boss and close associate. Cool. That's really good. Remorseful gun runner too late in their change of heart. Oh no! Massive cr underworld explosion. Crime raids at a historical. Wait. Oh, implosion! Massive underworld implosion. Crime rates at historical low after an abrupt criminal civil war. Tech Bros, the golden age of multi-sensory gaming is here. Everyone is playing the Languid Tower, and several Languid Lakes are already being developed. Truth Explore Exploder, did the Languid Tower kill its creator? Power Science, interviewing the intrepid crew exploring the depths of the ocean. So... My problem is that I, when I first read this person's profile, I thought that they were like a military submarine commander, but they sound like they're just an explorer. Let's look at these people. Raven Kudashin, 29, professional athlete. This visage, you're an athlete at 29? You look, you look 60. Raven is enjoying a moderately successful career as a deadlifter. They have a brother, Ronald, and a child, Mira. In their spare time, they like going hiking and camping. Mira is constantly inspired by Raven's determination which in their footsteps. Eric Sparks, 66 Mayor. Mayor Eric is getting old, but they've had a big hand in keeping the city council stable. Although a little too resistant to change, they know how to keep the peace. Old fringe group. Oh, if they die, that's bad. Okay, we're not gonna kill them. Okay. Do you have any info? Do you have any info? We don't. Do I really just kill these two people? Like, the problem is that I, I don't... Is that what Lee is doing? I don't... Like... I don't hate that Lee is doing this, but it's also deceptive. Kind of like... I don't want to kill Evelyn. I really don't. The politician seems to be important as well, though, but... Maybe he's... Actually, what if, what if I don't kill anybody today? No, that can't be. I have to kill some people. Boink only kills women? What? When did I say that? I don't know if Lee, I don't know if Lee is, I don't know if Lee is a woman. I think Lee is a man. Anyway. Evelyn D. Face. I don't want to get rid of this explorer. But I could just follow orders this time, so I don't get in trouble. Oh, I really don't. I'll try. I'll try following. Like I don't want to kill any three of these. Also, in order to not get reprimanded, I'll try. I'll try this. I'll try following orders. Oh, god damn it. I really don't want to follow order. But right now we're in the plus for everything except environment. You know what? That's the case. God damn it. Okay. We have bonus on environment now. Not the positives yet, but we still got some positives. Oh, all right. I did not fully follow the orders. I only followed them partially. Excuse game. I clicked on this motherfucker's office. Grim, my fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Should I? become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. I have an inkling of what you'll write, so, um, maybe not? Now, now, Grim. You cannot so easily predict the mysteries of art. Oh, fuck you! You're, you're trying to kill everyone. I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Ah, all the files are in order. 
excellent work. You are a testament to meticulous. I dropped connection for a hot minute. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, the cat mutters of contentment. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. Okay, we got 300. Ahoy! A pleasure to see ye again. I right, have 500. How much is this? 800. All right, let's leave. There's no fog for us to deal with. You know, no no open green mana here to fog us. So let's just uh, go do it for our job. A fresh idea. I hope you are still well motivated from our performance discussion. You required to demonstrate utmost precision. All humans in the bottom row have to die. No. However, because the bottom row is three, that means I will attempt to kill three. Okay, Crow News. Foul Earthers come to power after Mayor's death. Foul Earthers. Geography circulation. Geography? Oh, wait. Geography school's curriculum to be changed, new mayor says. Even an allergy claims another life. Investigators foul play. Ghastly a smell leads investigators to find an odd, small, dead person in an ancient attic. Researchers in the drone warfare show it's close to useless to wo and woefully error prone. Okay, so I kind of massively fucked up last time, didn't I, huh? That really that's really unfortunate. So let's look at the bottom row, people. Let's take a look. Raphael Sat Satander, 46, private detective. Raphael always had a problem with authority, which is why they got fired from their previous job, from their police job for insubordination. They prefer to work alone anyway. They started an investigation firm hoping to catch dangerous criminals, but mostly get hired to follow eating spouses and take incriminating photos. Based. I don't think I'm killing this man. Sanyu Furaha. Oh, her living is fairly good. Shopkeep. Frustrated with the bland condiment selection at the local grocery stores, Sanyu opened a shop to sell specialty cooking ingredients. Yeah, no, we're not killing this person. This person lives. Period. We'll try to kill three, though. Walt Guybrush. Media entertainment mogul. Walt grew up uh, with a dream of owning an independent film studio. They established... Hold on a moment. Them dying gives two good things. Them living is unknown. Okay. Which they established with a partner when they were just 23. In the past 20 years, this small Frolics Productions has grown into the most expansive producer of artistic entertainment news content around the world. Right. Well, you dying is good. And you're also on the bottom row, so I won't get as penalized for killing you. Kunio Kawa, immunologist. Kunio hopes to unlock the secrets of the immune system to make it more efficient at fighting diseases. They found promising approach in gene therapy. Kunio spends most of their time in the lab, but tries to go drinking with the colonies whenever possible. Live. Minus health plus peace? Weird, okay. I don't know why that would minus health. Rudolph Rudy, 19, student. What are morals? Rudolph is the type of university freshman who just finished reading a couple of introductory philosophy books. And now can't stop talking about how they understand how society, morals, and the world works. That's annoying, but that doesn't mean you should be killed. Well, killing them is a positive. It gives us positive peace. Umberto Primo, automotive engineer. Umberto doesn't really have much to do these days at the manufacturing plant, as Tomaton has made car building, automation has made car building much faster and more efficient. Mostly, they look at computer screens, checking for errors. At home, they love tinkering with their old 77 Dio Pulsa. Him dying is less environment, but plus P. Gadis Kamisi, drone pirate. After enlisting, Gadisi decided to focus on the new popular high-tech approach of drones because they're of their experience controllers and because it's felt safer and less traumatizing. They're hoping to make the world a better place better and safer place. Uh, them dying is bad. We're not going to kill them. Them living is bad as well. 
Fuck. Well, we have to kill two more people, or attempt to. And I don't want to kill. Wait a minute. Huh. Them dying is good. Yeah. So yeah, one more. I don't really I don't know if I really want to kill these people. Living is peace minus environment. We have, don't know what happens if this man lives. Let's plus P. I'm sorry, man. I didn't really want to do this, but damn it, it was still bad. God. Fuck. Oh well. I already read this. Okay. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. I know of your or plan, and I. without them. I know of your plan, and I've got serious doubts. My plan? Uh, I do not comprehend your reference. Let's not play ignorant. Suffice to say, I know. Regardless, your plan has flaws. There could be alternatives. All right. Let us entertain the notion of this hypothetical plan. What might be your objection? Why can't we help the humans achieve more instead of destroying them? Help them? So their existence will lengthen? And we will never be set free? They could achieve immortality, you might be set free, technically. It's better than this ennui laden nihilism. They could achieve immortality, you might be set free, technically. Alas, if only that were possible. But it is not. We are immortal, aren't we? What's so different with you? We are essentially magic, while they are mundane reality. Realistic matter which succumbs to realistic forces. Atoms, cells, proteins, endless biological processes. They will always break down because they exist in a land of rules, of laws, of physics. The end is inevitable, and for it to be different, the whole universe has to change. But then it will not be the same reality. But what if it's worth a try? Grim, everything would have to be remade with different rules. And for that to happen, this world would still have to end first. That is the dilemma. Recreating the universe using fundamentally different physics and logic. Or just letting go. Forget about it. We can go into the sweet release of nothingness when none of this matters, Grim. No! If there is nothing, there is nothing to worry about. It is just easier that way. But is it supposed to be easy? So into comfort that you'd rather give up? You do not understand yet. But you will, eventually. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Wait, I didn't get my daily review. Oh, right. Slipped my mind. Well, if it is that important. It seems you marked the proper amount of profiles. Good. Well done, and all that. Now depart. 
I have things to contemplate. I, I have a bad feeling that us uh, breaking the fourth wall of this particular universe is going to cause fate to like d uh, do a different type of double cross and foil what we're trying to do. I, I am getting a very serious feeling that there is going to be more for us to do. Mortimer does love a good discovery. The Plague Doctor, sporting a super stylish beak. The mask hails from an era of epidemics where physicians with little to no medical experience try to alleviate the suffering of the infected. An ill omen, but it really fancies up my visage. Huh. Didn't know I still had this beak eye sword. I was at a gathering of some immensely wealthy idiots where I saw an absolute buffoon wear this as professional attire. Just look at it! A weird long curve of a nose. And those stupid goggles. Ridiculous! Had to have it. So we plundered the whole lot of them. <laughs> Lest these smelled nice. For they soiled their trousers from the beer. Oh, God! And the mask came in real hand. Jesus Christ! Take a look at this plague doctor map. I don't know what direction is better to go in. Squid uh, and he he he. Masquerade, steampunk, war never changes. They're cool masks. Come back to the pumpkin. I just want to. I just want to have a canon appearance in uh, every. Every one of these playthroughs. Could go Plague Doctor on the third playthrough, though. Ah! Oh, there it is. Poor Grim. Hiding's Grim. Life should not be too predictable, do you not agree? You can use a little bit of alteration and, al and alternation every day. Every so often. And I have developed just the thing for it. Must now return to my research. Wait. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There are exactly eight. Every other profile has to die. So he wants us to kill four people. And we kill four people. We will see. Pro new. Media mogul dies after a sudden case of illness. Law enforcement suspects poisoning. Annoying know-it-all dies from their brain becoming far too smart and big for their skull. <laughs> Gruesome accident at the car manufacturing plant as malfunctioning construction bot crushes it. Oh god, that's fucked up. Um, yeah. Pro news. Private Eye accidentally catches an illegal arms deal in the act while trailing adulterous spouse. Oh my god, that's crazy. Bowling ball flies off the fingers of a very drunken doctor, crushes foot of collie. <laughs> Oops. Modern health. Research suggests effective genetic engineering still decades away. <sighs> Galaxy brain. Black holes set to end all life? Holy toe. The military industrial complex is tackling progressive by having the first ever female CEO. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that matters. Uh, galaxy Brain. Consultancy. Is this some new form of dark magic? What? I don't even understand. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. We gotta, we gotta try to kill four people. If possible. Hopefully, we can. Sefa Isidora. 37. Chemistry. Steffa is an inspiration to all her students. Although their school is poor, they do everything in their power to make the chemistry class as engaging as possible, using all available chemicals for demonstrations rather rather creatively. Steffa smells of sulfur at all times. Smells of, of farts at all times? Well, if she's helping the kids, then I don't care. I don't care if she smells like sulfur. Why? What do you fucking mean, minus health? What the fuck, game? I'm eating gummy worm. Gum. Yum, yum, yum. Theophania Ainer. Theophania is the latest heir of the, uh, you know, I should say Einer. 
Ainer sounds lewd for some reason. Latest heir of the Einer family. The family started off providing security almost a hundred years ago with their initial Mo Monitor C consulting firm. Anus, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Over time, they acquired a number of factory ruins with arms providing conglomerate now known as Sun Sundower Security Services. Uh, yeah, weapon CEO. Okay, a plus peace, plus environment, minus wealth. That's totally fine by me. Park Lee, 52 tech support. Park works as a team leader at Toyabishi, providing tech support for the variety of important companies across the northern country. This could be more interesting than one assumes, as sometimes the program companies break down as in what? Use breakdown in incredibly puzzling ways. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what to think of that guy. Matthias Uliam, 18, student. It has been said that Matthias talks too much. However, they themselves think that they may not be talking enough at all. Space radiation is their passion, and they are endlessly fascinated by black holes. Okay. I don't see a reason to kill him. Achak Nord. Aram is for the Nords. Did you hear? Lumberjack. Oh, that's appropriate. Achak co-owns a logging company where they work as a lumberjack. Although they comply with environmental regulations on paper, they occasionally clear protected habitats by mistake, destroying homes of thousands of endangered birds. Okay, sorry, my dude, but, uh... Yeah. Perish. Plus, plus health? Why is it not plus environment? Oh, whatever. Stefan Seri. Stefan Seri? Maybe? I don't know. Wait. Waiter. Stefan is a liar who absolutely can't stop lying ever. They keep lying about the, mo about the most ins insignificant things. They just keep. They just like lying that much. On the other hand, the skill comes in pretty handy whenever anyone asks for recommendations. You have a good night, see. Hopefully we will tomorrow and that you have a, a, a good, successful I might just kill this lying guy, even though it's funny. Gabriel de la Corsa, valet. Gabriel is very dignified. They work as a valet in a mansion and are admired by all the other workers, as they make no movements which could be considered as redundant. Once they were a suspect of a gruesome murder, even though it would be impossible for them to be the murderer. Living is good. Have them live. We're two and two. We need a uh, four and four. Going to Solstheim and calling the local lords the Waz for not being the Thunder. <laughs> Essie Kovalein. Kovalein. Something, I don't know. Project advisor. Essie is a professional project advisor, also known as a consultant. They get paid inordinate amounts of money for consultations. Which are these vague events where they tell companies to do things. Them dying is bad for the environment. But not working, they love tea, cross stitching, and smashing the patriarchy. Oh god. Do I know what happens if I kill them? No. Kill the liar, it's just easier that way. Peace. I replied with two letters. Tamani. Uh, I kept having to double check because that grammar is like the reverse of English structure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it is an interesting language relative to English. A lot of the stuff feels reversed sometimes. So now what I have to do is figure out among these people to kill who I should kill. This person is an annoying. But if they die, then that's just bad. I don't like. I gotta, I gotta have them live. Minus peace plus wealth. Okay, fine. I don't like that, but now I have to kill either a tech support guy or a scientist or a scientist man. 
I think I'm gonna kill tech support, man. I, I'm sorry. I feel like a guy having an interest in science and black holes might be important. Whereas this tech support guy, this guy might be. Who knows? Maybe he's a he's a scammer. Oh god, that was bad. That was really bad. That was awful. That was awful. Oh god. Oh god, it's so bad. It was all bad. Oh no. That was terrible. And how many playthroughs do I have to play of this fucking game before I get anything hey right? There. What you up to, Kimmel? Shut up, fuck you. What now? The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? Only when I'm starting to look a bit Allie. grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Grim. Reaper. Shut up. I'm not hurting anyone personally. That's my name, so what? Nothing. Believe it's for a good cause, as always. It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting part. Kill yourself in Minecraft, Mirror Lady. If I get banned for that, I'm gonna be so fucking angry. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. We're obviously gonna do it. Let's just skip to the. I, uh, well, yes, <laughs> grand artistry and all that. Anyway, we have some official business to take care of. Yes. Uh, Put cats up on the hot dog. Is that like some special form of ketchup that's for cats. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Your adherence to the rules is admirable. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Puns, my Anwa, puns. I believe. I'm just I'm just stupid going over my head. Money! Fucking money! I probably can't buy anything. Batten down that. 300, there's yeah, there's no way. Safe. Cat and hot dog. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, I need 700 for that, so... Father, let's go next day. It'll work. The rules. I will keep this short. New zones of conflict seem to be emerging. I am suspecting a systemic bias in our balancing methodology. The last three humans coming from the facts have to die. Well, oh, just any three. I'm counting on the accuracy of judgment making. Yeah, no, I need to kill three. If I am to not get reprimanded. Legendary tech support team dies in an airplane crash. Christ. Major flaw in Tobiyashi medical equipment leads to the demise of a number of critical patients. Okay, uh, that's, um... Okay, I think I've caused another apocalypse to happen. Vast advances being made in research. With reusable fuel cells. Researchers credit young talent involved in special projects. Pro new. Logging company owner dies of sudden heart failure. Leap higher fortune... Cancer fund. Oh, that's good. Can you have a heart attack due to massive guilt? We have the research. Sundowner taking a massive hit in the stock exchange today as CEO accidentally shot during a drone misfire. Rolex looks banned with new department for machine learning, creating thousands of jobs. Dormant plague bacteria discovered in permafrost waiting to be... Read our new article on the post-humanist perspectives for the future. Dormant plague bacteria discovered. So if we want to avoid the, the zombie apocalypse, we have to deal with this dormant plague thing. 
Yoko Todo. Confectionary artist. Ryoka participated in local cooking contest 25 years ago and came in second in a tight race, losing due to slightly inadequate chocolate tempering technique. What should have been an uplifting experience turned into an unhealthy obsession with tempering chocolate. Okay. Fraud CEO. Charlie Gok. Charlie has been helping their brother, Albert David, hide corporate money and avoid paying taxes for years, perhaps even decades. They have also been accused of insider trading and fraudulent activity. They currently win a ma- Yeah, no, we're- You die. You die. Kill, kill, kill! Tempering chocolate is not that deep. I don't know if we should kill them, though, for being obsessed with tempering chocolate, though. You know? Jaswir Shondri. Lecturer. Jaswir gives a number of different mathematicians lectures in the prestigious university. Oh, uh, excuse me. Gives a number of different mathematics lectures in the prestigious university over the neighboring Altern. They dream of forming a ragtag group of, from their students and robbing casinos with a bunch of clever mass relay con methods. I don't mind you perishing. Earl P. Gray, MeTuber, content creator. Ate the gummies, and now I'm reminiscing on the time I had gummies before I ate the gummies. Gummies are good. I like gummy worms. I think they're kind of perfect, especially when they're sour. Kind of like a perfect candy in a way, but it's also one that you don't really think, you don't get so enthralled with that you become obsessed necessarily. I am not gonna lie, I don't know what YouTuber is being referenced. Oh wait, no, it's 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 uh that guy Matt? Is this is this a reference to Matt, maybe? I don't know. Gray is gr gray is graying. Dad is a graying dad looking psychopathic content Okay, never mind. This is not who I think this is not the reference I think it is. The graying dad looking psychopathic content creator who hails from Sunny Afry, some thousands of kilometers south of Cosmopolis City. Their most joy pastime is knocking down a couple of beers while watching the world burn. That's kind of funny. I don't know if I want to kill you though. Ejiro Bencole, archaeologist. Ejiro is currently organizing an excavation in the colder regions, picking up some permafrost in the hopes of finding artifacts from the fabled age of colossal hamsters. I think I actually have to kill this guy to stop the, uh, stop the zombies. I have to kill this guy, actually. So, I actually, I have to kill this guy. Plus peace, plus health, okay. That means everyone should, else should live, correct? Ivers Birds, 28, game developer. Ivers is a futuristic, animal-friendly vegan and an adrenaline junkie on the road. They spend every minute working the best they can be studying. By studying, exercising, and working hard. Ivers lives life like it's the only one they have, which is accurate. I know it's annoying that they're a vegan, but I'm not, it's not a reason to murder them. Why the fuck do we have minus on peace and environment for li letting this guy live? That doesn't make any sense. January Hill, 43, Entertainment Studio CEO, ex actor. A honor roll student, a blockbuster actor, now CEO of Frolics Productions. January has always been ambitious. They started their affair with Frolics's founder. They started an affair with Frolics's founder as their dreams of the future aligned. January now strives for Frolics content to reach all of mankind so everyone can, could assimilate their company's great core values. Dying is good for this person, but that would be two deaths. Who touches the kids? One of the guys I killed, Ivor Bergs. Oh man, I really hope not. Mr. Frolic? Oh yeah, yeah. This person is harmless, I think. What the fuck do you mean, minus peace? Fuck you. Fucking nonsense. Dan Schneider. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. Man. 
Oh, them dying is... You know what? It's been a while since I've had to be reprimanded, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill more people than usual. This guy, however, uh, I don't care. He can live. Okay, that, there's two pluses and two minuses, so that's a net, that's a net of uh, nothing. I killed more people than necessary. Don't care. I'm gonna get reprimanded now. Grim, uh, why are you here? Oh, right, the daily always in positions when I have important research to perform. Ugh, let us get on with it. I see more profiles than required. <laughs> Bad job, I guess. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Fine by me, I'll go rest. Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. So, hopefully killing the guy digging in the permafrost will stop the zombie apocalypse. The problem is that I have a feeling there's going to be an environmental issue that happens because we don't have positive in uh, the environmental stuff. Let's, let's do one more day and then we can be done for tonight. The assignment. I sent an eldritch waft of air past the, my office earlier. Perhaps the essence of those many doomed to death by your actions, Grim? We could not determine the correct amount of you are today, so I leave it up to you. Do choose better than yesterday, yes? Any humans who thus have to die. Alright. Read the news. Frolic stocks plummet. Market gurus advise to hold get sick as dip assumed temporary. Any panic in stock market as CEO of massive conglomerate found dead in apparent suicide. Expected fraud dies of a heart attack as police officers come knocking on their door. Prosecutor says arrest was Archaeologist stumbles. Impales themselves on the massive tusk of a supposed giant hamster. Me too, but I destroyed all lives by making the worst choices. A million views unlocked. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Kenzo Omura, astronomist. Kenzo is deeply intrigued by the universe and its mysteries, but doesn't enjoy leaving their hometown. They would never consider boarding a spaceship. They would love to look at the universe from the comfort of their own home. Having witnessed a quite few of UFOs, they are slightly worried about the universe visiting us. Levy Schaefer. 35. Defense contractor. Levy sells weapons to anyone in need of them. Their biggest customer, of course, is the military. They have sent lobbyists to the government to make sure they are always waging war. there is always a war going on somewhere. However, their grandparents' last wish was for Levy to protect the forests of their homeland for which Levy has been constantly funneling money. Oh, fuck. I'm posting in chat and explaining grammar to rag and making the biggest brain. Giga, yep, giga, giga brain. Massive cranium. All right, Patty Berengar. Retired, 76. Patty grew up in a farm outside the city. Post-graduation, they decided to pursue a music becoming a respected songwriter. After surviving a stroke, their fingers don't work too well, but they feel their minds slipping away bit by bit every day. They're hoping for a way out before it's too late. This person wants to die. So I'm going to let that happen. They literally they literally want to die. Alayla Sarazine, book 27. Alayla chose to learn the art of gastronomy because it felt like a decent and stable job. Good food is always neat. Aside from cooking, they enjoy long treks through nature and mountain climbing. I don't see why we would get to kill this person. Plus health, plus peak. Yep. Pretty obvious. Naira Naravili, 24, cultist. Na Naira is a loyal member of a group who are devoted to the forest spirit. Believing in both spirit and tree are from the future, as the mighty stout oak seems to be a lot older than the rest of the forest. Naira enjoys nature, but isn't that keen on the ritual branch whipping, which seems important to their leader. It says any humans who see us. 
This guy, this girl's kind of sus, but also I feel like she might be harmless. Ah, let's let, uh, let's, let's let them live. Minus health plus environment. Yep, that's fine. This guy is also going to be plus environment. Plus environment minus everything else. Yep. I thought so. Plus peace. All right, good. Easy. Right. Man, maybe I uh, do another day because we did that so quickly. As you enter, you notice that Fate's office is empty aside from Lady Poddington. Oh no, this again? The old-fashioned phone suddenly rings with an ear-piercing metallic clatter. A familiar voice calls from the static. Ha ha, grim, jolly good. As you may have noticed, I am absent. I decided for a short vacation. It is a weekend, after all. And the free time will be essential for research. For the novel, yes? Hey, why can't I get a vacation? Hello, Grim, are you there? Oh, curse this useless apparatus. It never works. Happening again. Minute. Yeah, he's off researching. I don't think I'm... I don't think the so, zombie is going to kill people. Perhaps you are wondering about the nature of vacations in our profession. Well, those of the highest management only. Oh, yeah, of course. It's always highest management. I mean, it is not as if you need one. Technically, you are just an amalgamation of ingredients. You are not even alive. But what of the conduct overview, you may be thinking? To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. I am certain you have done well enough. Now, I must go submerge myself. Toodles, Grim. Submerge. Submerge. You're such a scoundrel. There should be a bounty on your head. Ears of the Beast. A pair of cat ears would look really nice to me. Fire all the feet lines of the world. Just don't talk or even think about the film adaptation of the Beast. Ye know why I was the scourge of the seas? Cause ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Once we looted an ancient tomb for gods and kings long forgotten. And you know what, Mickey? Found there the most particular set of ears. Wearing them gives ye supernatural hearing. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot that very night. So I threw them all right overboard. Plotting with the fishes now they are. <laughs> cool. Now we can look like a cat if we want. Uh, Cerberus Den. Well, if it isn't the young Grimster, back again to delight my eye. Ooh. Ooh, delight your eye. Then you. So three weeks down already. That's quite an achievement. Say, how's the grind been treating you since our last chat? No, no, I still have trouble deciding. About how you feel about the whole thing? Doubts about the power bestowed into your hands and how you affect so many lives every single day? Makes me uneasy. I'd be sure my choices have been correct ones. Isn't this place venerable and they know what they're doing? Yeah, leave it to uptight soulless bureaucrats to decide what's right. One ought to heed instincts in collaboration with the expert. Sounds twice as powerful to me. Ah, but what do I know? I'm just the barkeep. So what can I get you? Sure, what's your poison? Heat death of the universe iced coffee. Guaranteed to keep you energized until the last ever star in the universe blinks out of existence. Drink it alone. The sweet and icy overtones of the mixture block out the bitter earthy taste of coffee. Be honest, coffee really does taste like dirt. <laughs> Yet as the frozen cubes click against your teeth, this whole endeavor feels distinguished and hip at the same time, just like the end of the universe. Going now. Au revoir, Lil Reaper. I like that she was hitting on us. 
I am a fan of her hitting on him. So there's a cat head we can find. Oh my god, it's oh, it's not just a cat head, it's literally a cat girl. Oh my god, that is uh disturbing. That's disturbing. Let's do one more. Because that we went by so quickly. Do your job! Your attention is required. I've been informed of a delicate situation. I trust that you will handle it as you. Quota for the day. Five humans have to die. Four humans must. One human must be spared. This is of utmost importance. Do be careful to let the right person live. Okay. E. The globe. Massive reforestation efforts underway in Faustria by unknown benefactor. Young Cook to also. Oh god, I only have positive environment now. I don't have positive in anywhere else. Oh fuck. Oh god, that's not. I want four positive, what I want. Young Cook discovers new healthy ways of preparing food. Doctor's amazed. Animistic cult turns into environmental. Man claims to have saved Earth, Earth from aliens. Genetically modified crops prove a hoax. Use all natural fertilizer. Meri okay. Ursa, game designer artist. Meri has been trying to make the greatest game for a while now to find inspiration. Because they love traveling. They, they, they attend a diverse range of gaming events, conventions, and references. It's really just a specific type of tourism. Meri also enjoys marathon running. Well, you don't deserve to be killed. Samara L. Downey, detective. Samara has been working in the homicide department only for a few years, but has already shown great talent in solving seemingly unsolvable murder cases. They are currently after an unknown serial killer who was suspected to be working for the local church. Emmanuel Snow. Oh, wait, we've uh, done this guy before. He should die. What is history anyways? Yeah, let's kill this guy. That's plus peace, plus economy. Oh, killing this guy is also a good thing. Amandus Hamir, 51, editor-in-chief. Before Amandus took over the Daily Moon, the newspaper was in decline. With Rus' determination, they turned the paper... Right, right, right. I know, you're, you're unethical, and you it is positive for you to die, so we're gonna kill you. Come dead. Come dead. Have we dealt with this person before? Them living is bad. Ahmed Zakaria, farmer inventor. Ahmad, Ahmad has never been happy with the status quo, as in with whatever they currently happen to have. They're always aiming higher and further, experimenting in various different fields in order to find new ways for ever more productive crops. Die. Minus economy, plus health, plus environment. Okay. God damn it, man. Gary Morell. Kidnapper? Gary is a creepy kidnapper. There's no way around that. Their latest plan is a ambling near stadiums wearing a cute mascot outfit and swiping kids who want to take a photo. It hasn't worked thus far because of the crowds, but when it will, they'll demand a substantial ransom. Perish. Die. Thy end is now. Crush. Okay. So we have between these, we have to, according to this, we have to kill one of these two people. And it's going to be Meri, because this detect, we need this detective to solve this murder. Plus economy, plus peace. Very good. So sorry, sorry, game dev. Oh my god, that's also plus economy, plus peace. Why, though? What what were they doing that was so bad that they had to die? <laughs> what the fuck? They were just making a game and traveling the world. Why was their death so good for the world? Do you know the parades people throw when nothing bad happens? No. Yeah, we neither. But... Sometimes one deserves a pat on the back when everything is normal. Even if it's you yourself doing the patting. You may have found the path through the maze, Grand Reaper. Be glad. Cool, okay, so we he was praising us. 
Oh my god, she destroyed the phone. As you look around the office, you see Lady Poddington lounging Sabine on the table. The old fashioned phone rings again, right as you settle in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grim, ah, you would not believe the fun I am having. Such a transformation from the monotony of the office. It almost makes it all seem worthwhile. But. Yes, you expect your daily summer. But I still cannot find it in me to burden myself with this matter. So, off you go. We had no news of the zombie apocalypse. We've had no news the of the zombie apocalypse. Anything, mate. Don't need to wait. Anything new to say to me? Welcome back, Grimmy. Always a pleasure to see you around. We here got another quiet Sunday on our hands, though. No action at all. Drink. Sure. What's your poison? Milk, please. Going straight edge. I get where you're coming from. Drink it alone. It tastes like milk. <laughs> Going now. Oh, 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 little reaper. My end is now. Brush. Okay. And end the day. And that's gonna be it for tonight. So I was thinking that this would... I was... I have a very bad sense of how to, like, scale the time in this game. Like, I'm very uncertain of how, of, like, how much effort I need to be doing to, like, getting the endings. But, to be honest, I'm glad that we're going to be continuing it tomorrow. Probably finishing it tomorrow. At least finishing this playthrough. If it's catastrophic, though, we can do another new game plus and see what new stuff there is. Because again, it's a three gigabyte game, so I would expect there to be quite a lot of stuff that we haven't seen even after a second run. So, uh, that's what, uh, so, you know, we're just gonna be playing it again tomorrow and possibly playing it next week. How, how it works out. Um, uh, thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here out with me. Uh, we, uh, we will, we will be back in, you know, tomorrow, you know, Saturday, you know, in the United States, Saturday. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be playing this game again. If you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us and you think I deserve a follow, uh, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours, and this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where it will join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And, uh, yeah, so... Cool! A, uh, I like this game. Hope y'all been liking it too. I uh, am skipping through a lot of dialogue that we've already seen, but hopefully that's not too off-putting or whatever, you know. So uh, hopefully it just stays chill. That y'all having a good time. So I should uh, get out of your hair. So uh, thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. Hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again tomorrow with more death and taxes. Ciao.